In this video, I will show you how to read a tape in inches, uh, also known as a traditional system of measurement or uh, imperial system of measurement. Uh, either which way, uh, there's inches and there is fractions of an inch on, on the tape. Now, most uh, most tape measures that have uh, inches on it, they say so. Like this one here, it says inches on it. And that kind of helps you identify a tape in inches as opposed to in anything metric. Uh, this tape below here, however, it doesn't say inches on it anywhere. So you have to just uh, infer it and uh, from uh, from the numbers that are given in uh, in this corner you can say you can see a fraction uh, 1 over 16 and here you can see another fraction 1 over 32 and uh, in the corner here you can see uh, two more whiskers right next to the number 16 here you can see two hairlines, two little whiskers that, uh, that show you that uh, indeed that scale along that edge of the ruler is in inches. So on the upper scale you can see that uh, there is no such indication, there is no fractions of any kind whatsoever. All it says is inches and it's got whole numbers on it one two three and on the lower one on the lower ruler you also have uh, whole numbers one two and three but you also have a fraction one over sixteen and uh, next to the zero it says one over thirty two now to read a tape in inches you have to uh, realize two things First thing, every hairline on uh, on the uh, inches scale mean one sixteenth of an inch. So the length of this arrow here is exactly one sixteenth of an inch. It starts from there and it ends exactly there. And I know it's up small item on your screen but the length of the red arrow is exactly one sixteenth of an inch you can start really anywhere on uh, any ruler to uh, measure the length of uh, things uh, let's see how long the red arrow is now it starts here and it ends there and uh, this is how you use a ruler. Starting here, it's one, two, three sixteenths, four sixteenths, five sixteenths, six sixteenths, seven sixteenths of an inch. Two whiskers, two hairlines in the upper right hand corner will indicate that the measurement is in inches. Now, to use a tape measure, uh, you have to make sure that, uh, let me just make it a little sharper, there we go. You have to make sure that uh, in determining the uh, length of the red arrow, you have to make sure that you are not counting the number of lines. Uh, this is what I mean. This is line one, line two, line three, line number four, line number five, measurement line number six, measurement line number seven, measurement line number eight. And uh, if you counted the number of measurement lines on the scale to determine the length of the red arrow, you would then come to the conclusion that the red arrow's length is eight sixteenths of an inch. Incorrect. Don't do that. What you need to do instead is, again, count the number of gaps between the lines. So starting at the first hairline, one jump, two, three sixteenths, four jumps, five jumps, six jumps, seventh. That's the first 
second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh jump, okay? Seven jumps, seven sixteenths of an inch. The second uh, important thing about this, let me just retape it. Oops, sorry guys. Is that uh, you can, uh, you don't have to, but uh, most measurements will start at zero. Now, this tape measure doesn't say that this is zero here, but uh, nevertheless, it is there. Whatever you do, don't start measuring anything from the edge of the ruler. Okay? The edge of the ruler would be, sorry, the edge of the ruler would be here. Don't start measuring from the edge of the ruler, okay? So when you uh, try to determine the width of this wooden block, this one is incorrectly aligned. If you read this one, oh, look at that. The wooden block is exactly one inch long. Incorrect. It shouldn't start from the edge of the ruler. It should start from zero. Like, uh, let me just do this, just bear with me, because I can't see the lines there. Just, there we go. Let me just get rid of my writing there and there. So now we can start measuring. Now the wooden block is in perfect alignment, starting at the zero. We can start then. Uh, counting the sixteenths. Now, what I'm doing is I'm not counting the first sixteen sixteenths. I'm just, uh, I'm just reading the first uh, larger unit is one inch. One inch. And I'm only counting the rest of the sixteenths. Uh, there. Let me just redraw the line. So uh, I counted from here to there for the first inch and I'm only counting the rest of it. One, two, three. So the width of the block is inch and, sorry, inch, inch and three sixteenths and two hairlines there. The width of the block is inch and three sixteenths. That's how you call out the measurements. Let's do another one. I'm just gonna zoom out a little bit. Let's measure the width of this block here. Just, just a sec. There, let's measure that one. Oops. Just repositioning a little bit. Make sure you can see it thereabouts. Okay, let's measure the width of the or the thickness of the spine block. Uh, let's start at zero again, and we are counting the number of sixteenths. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight sixteenths. Eight sixteenths is the thickness of the spine block. Now, when you have an even number as a numerator, okay, that's a numerator there. When you have an even number, that means that the fraction can be reduced to a lower term. And uh, if you need to practice uh, lower terms, and if you need to refresh your uh, the concept of uh, reducing fractions and equivalent fractions, uh, do so. Uh, there's lots of stuff out there on the web, in the textbooks, it's about uh, grade, uh, grade 4, grade 5 stuff. But 8 sixteenths is the same as 4 eighths, or is the same as 2 quarters, and is the same as 1 over 2. Usually, and typically, measurements are taken in their lowest terms. Let me just move it back into the 
Uh, let me just move it back into the picture. There. Measurements are taken in their lowest terms. So nobody on the job site calls this one 8 16th of an inch wide or 4 eighths or 2 quarters. Everybody calls it half an inch. Okay, so you really have to be fast with finding equivalent fractions in lowest terms to uh, use some of the numbers on the tape measure. 8 16th is the same as half an inch and you can tell that this is half an inch because the numbers uh, sorry because the lines are typically of different lengths the one inch line is the longest the half inch line is shorter here is a quarter inch and the three quarter inch line and those in turn are even shorter than the half inch line the eighths are again shorter than the quarter inch this is 116 the smallest increment there 116 the next one is 2 16 which is the same as 1 8 reduced to its lowest term now let me just zoom in a little bit Oops, the other way around and I will write up all the fractions on a tape measure in their lowest terms so this one is zero that's a no-brainer this one is one sixteenth here the next one is so we're going one jump there the next one is one sixteenth plus one sixteenth that makes two sixteenths but I'm not writing that two sixteenth two is an even number there is a lower Two sixteenth. There is a lower term, and this is one over eight. So this is one eighth of an inch. The next one is uh, one sixteenth plus one sixteenth plus one sixteenth is three sixteenth. Three is an odd number. It doesn't have the fraction doesn't have a lower term. That is three sixteenth of an inch there. One more sixteenth is four sixteenth of an inch. And just gonna make some room. Four sixteenths of an inch, because this is an even number here. It's got a lower, it can be reduced to its lowest terms. It's the same as two over eight, is the same as one over four. This number here is a quarter inch. That's the number that uh, that line on the scale indicates quarter inch. The next number is 5 sixteenths because a quarter inch is 4 sixteenths and therefore the next one is 5 sixteenths. This line here is 6 sixteenths of an inch away from the zero line. 6 sixteenths starts with an even number again. It can be reduced to 3 eighths. So this is where 3 eighths is. Next number on the tape measure is 6 16th is uh, the same as, uh, sorry, 3 eighths is the same as 6 16th. So the next number is 7 over 16, 7 16th of an inch. After 7 16th, we have 8 16th here, which we already reduced to 1 half inch. The next one on the tape measure is uh, one half inch is eight sixteenth, and eight sixteenth plus one sixteenth is nine sixteenth of an inch. That's where nine sixteenth lives. Nine sixteenth plus one sixteenth is ten sixteenths, but ten starts with an even number. This could be reduced to Let's see, that's an ugly five, a really ugly one. Sorry. That's five eighths of an inch. So this one is five eighths of an inch away from zero. Five eighths is the same as ten sixteenths, and uh, ten sixteenths plus one sixteenth is eleven sixteenths. 
So on this line is where 11 16th is. The next one is 3 quarters of an inch. Another way to tell is this one is 1 quarter. That one is 2 quarters. When you have 2 quarters in your pocket, that's half a dollar. There's your half, half of an inch. And this one is the third quarter. That's how you can use the, la the uh, line length on the scale to determine that this is three quarters. Three quarters is the same as 12 sixteenth. 12 sixteenth plus 1 sixteenth is 13 sixteenths. Let's see. 13 sixteenths. The next line on the tape measure indicates the position of 14 sixteenths, but 14 sixteenths is the same as 7 eighths of an inch, and uh, everybody calls this 7 eighths. Last line, 7 eighths is the same again as 14 sixteenths, so 14 sixteenths plus 1 sixteenth is 15 sixteenths. So that line is 15 sixteenths of an inch, and after that, this line, this last line here, indicates a one inch measurement. After the one inch line, the, the numbers repeat. Uh, the length of this arrow here, extending from zero all the way there, is exactly inch and one sixteenth. That's how this measurement is read. There are measurements such as two and three eighths, or three and three quarters, or inch and a quarter. And all of these measurements are written, oops, are written down like this: inch and a quarter, three and sorry guys, three and three eighths, and. Uh, five and one sixteenth of an inch. So that's how to read a tape measure in Imperial and uh, that's how the uh, fractions work on it.